So this is uh, the local beach, right, not far from where I live, like uh, five minutes, basically. Over there you can see Pepe and Phuket. Beach is looking exceptionally good today, like a sheet of glass. There are, unfortunately, out the front of here, a lot of big rocks. You can do some damage. This is uh, highly likely gonna be my go-to bar. Oh, a bit of rain coming up there. This is called Lighthouse Bar. And it's really nice. The guy that runs it's a really nice bloke. They have food, drinks, and uh, there'll be a change of lighting here as I go inside, uh, adjusting okay. There's a lot of black light stuff here. There's the big boss over there, Mr. Benz. Say hello to the folks. Yeah, so this is uh, another one of my little go-to spots. I've got my breakfast spot and I've got this spot where I come if I want to have a drink. You can have a smoke here too, no problem. And uh, a really nice place right on the beach. In the coconut trees, literally. Darts over there. Very easily maintained flooring. And you can sit up here and have a meal, or you know, romance, whatever, you know, whatever you fancy, you know or just get yourself well and truly whacked and pass out there. Over here as well. I think that also doubles as a stage over there if they have live music. Is that correct, Ben? Yeah, so this is the Lighthouse Bar. And I've just had the drone up, which I'll edit the footage later on. But yeah, really beautiful here. Really nice place. I enjoy coming here. Met some good people here. And Ben's, of course, has been extremely helpful to me and given me a lot of advice just in the short time I've been there, been here. And here we have uh, Kotlanta Yai, the map. It's not a big place, only 30K long. Yeah, so a little bit more later, okay? Ciao for now. So, as it says, short overview of this particular part of the island and this area is called Klong Kong, where this beach is. And you see the white places up there, they're all villas. Those houses are all for rent. We, um, myself and another guy almost rented uh, some of those white ones on the right hand side there on the hill. We were gonna rent one of those. But I ended up taking the more simple option, which is over over the top of that peak, I live down the back of that peak there, where you see it's a bit hazy and smoky. Yeah, so um, this area is Klong Kong. You can see the main road uh, there, that white concrete road, which is the one and only main road from where you come off the ferry road all the way along the island. Uh, parts of it at the moment are in very bad condition because they're uh, actually putting new sections in all the time. And the old sections have been uh, just let go to rack and ruin and there's some amazingly dangerous potholes, especially one where I had uh, my accident, although a minor accident and I wasn't injured too badly. I'm still a little bit sore around the ribs when I cough or sneeze, but it's not too bad. This of course is uh, looking north towards uh, Krabby and uh, this is just the surrounding area you can see there's plenty of building and infrastructure along that main road and in the bottom part of the video it's just a short section that uh, goes to the coast the other the other part is the ridge and over the ridge is the other side of the island which i'll get to eventually and do some drone stuff there it's a beautiful bay 
one of those really lovely picturesque bays with lots of little islands and stuff yeah so but no beaches it's mostly all rock around that area I'm uh, keen to have a look into fishing over there. You can see here, look how clear the water is. The water is just so crystal clear, but you can see, you see all those uh, dark patches. Well, they're really big rocks, really big rocks. They're exposed at high tide. Very dangerous to go jumping in there and diving around in that water at high tide or mid tide where they're covered. All of those buildings along the beach, most of them are restaurants and bars. Uh, some combined with uh, resorts and bungalows that you can rent right there on the beach really is a great place for holidays look at these bungalows the red ones there uh, the building in the center there with the big trees around it is uh, uh, lighthouse bar really great place you can see me standing out the front there controlling the drone it's a really great place he's a really nice bloke that guy that uh, owns it uh, Ben's and he runs that with his daughter and his uh, wife and uh, really nice place it's the local uh, expat go-to place it's not a girly bar or anything like that it's just a really nice place to go and relax sit down have a yarn a lot of people I've met there have been very helpful to me since I've been here and have enabled me to learn a fair bit about the island in a short period of time uh, thanks to them sharing their knowledge of the place and uh, it's Klong Kong Beach it's fairly long there are spots on it where there's not so much uh, rocky outcrop in, hidden in the water uh, you can still get in the water there you just got to be careful you know This guy uh, works for um, for Ben's at the bar. All really nice people here, and uh, it's a nice place. It's a good beach. Over there, you can see uh, Kopipi and Phuket. Very hazy out there the day I took this. It's been cloudy and hazy since I've been here. The rainy season, the wet season, seems to be just you know proving reluctant to uh, end I, I I'll say yeah just reluctant to end the wet season but it's just about finished now I'm looking forward to some really clear sunny days so I can get the uh, drone up 